Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to show you how to use Copyscape to tell if someone has stolen an article from somewhere else on the web. And this is particularly important if you're hiring people on Fiverr or other sites to write articles for you. And actually, Copyscape's real easy to use. You just go over, you sign for it, it costs you a nickel, a search. And so let's take a look at this article, which we know is not posted and we know is original and somebody would not have been able to steal this off of the web because they haven't published it anywhere yet. So that would be the equivalent of someone ghostwriting something and making sure that they hadn't gotten it from somewhere else like off of easing articles or something like that. So now it's doing a search. and no internet results were found. So that's good. Now, this is an article that I have published and only published it in one place. I actually published it as hub pages. Uh, I didn't publish it to my Ezine Articles account or anything like that. So it really should only be in one spot. So we're gonna do a couple things. We're gonna see, I wanna show you what it does when it actually finds something and then I also want to see if someone has published this somewhere else. All right, so it's found four examples. And if we did a compared text, it'll show us how much of it's being used and where. But that's the hub page one. That's where I did publish it. I'm going to have to investigate these others. Um, uh, well... <laughs> This one's mine, and this one's mine, and this is interesting. This one's on Hub Pages, so I'll probably take a look at that. But the bottom line is, if someone, if you've hired somebody to write something for you, and, and that's just a link, yeah. The bottom line is, if you've hired somebody to write something for you, and you use Copyscape, this is a great way to catch the kind of people that are going to try and rip you off on Fiverr or something like that. I'm not saying it happens a lot, but what I'm saying is you don't want it to happen to you. And you don't want to get an email from somebody saying, hey, you're publishing my article in your book or you're publishing my article on your website and my lawyer is going to jump you. You don't want that to happen. And the way to know is to run what the people do for you through a service like Copyscape. Hope it helps. And uh, for more cool tips like this, check out thenetreporter.com.